Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I wanted to show you all the goodies that I got yesterday because yesterday was one of my favorite days of the year. It was the Ranger Sale. Um, they usually have it in October. For some reason they had it in the middle of September. But um, my mom and I went and we had a blast. We got there a little later than we wanted. Um, so we were a little farther back in line and some people in front of us scored some other goodies that I didn't get my hands on but I still got a lot of good stuff uh, so everything that I'm going to show you cost me a total of fifty dollars and then I have some other goodies because then we went to a few other stores after that but they charge six dollars a pound and I was good this year I only spent fifty the first couple years I went, I went a little crazy. But anyway, here we go. I got some UT, some of the brights. This is green zinnia, then this is interference blue and spruce green. I scored a huge bottle of gold super fine embossing powder so I don't think I need gold embossing powder for the rest of my life and then some uh, I got some color wash which is one of my favorite things and I do have some of these colors but I did not have stream which I really wanted and they finally had it this year so I think I have 11 colors right now plus some duplicates this is eggplant, lettuce, let's see, wild plum, and red pepper. And these are the big bottles. These aren't the, the newer bottles, which are, I think they're smaller. Uh, got some ink, but like I said, didn't go crazy because I actually wrote down the things that I had and made sure I didn't buy duplicates. But I got four more archival ink pads. I got olive teal, cobalt, and library green. Got two more of these. These are really nice inks. Um, this guy, Nick Bantock, he's an artist. This is art on the front. And he made this whole line of inks for them. And they're really great. They're discontinued now, so every time I go to the ranger sale, I try and, and find them got two of these rainbow pads. This is Waterfall and this is Happy Birthday. And they had two other ones but they were really similar to this so I didn't pick those up. And I got some re-inkers because you can always use those for making sprays and stuff like that. So I got a Jenny Bolin one. This is the only one I saw anywhere. This was Fountain Pen. I got archival ink in sepia and <laughs> this one is weird I guess it's to put on your golf ball it says name that ball and then oops that's not focusing personalize your ball <laughs> okay I'm not even gonna touch that one I'm gonna put that aside and move on <laughs> uh, then I got some more Nick Bantock inks Azure Van Dyke Brown Vermilion Lacquer the charcoal gray, Prussian blue, and lamp black. And I'm sorry if the lighting is bad down here. I'm in the basement because everybody's asleep right now, so can't really do it in the kitchen with the good light. Then I found this. This is clear fabric medium. I've never used this before. I guess this was probably on their display at CHA because it has the Velcro strip down the back. Then I got a pack of Adirondack paint dabbers. I got these because I have a ton of paint dabbers that I bought the first year I went to the sale. Um, but a lot of those have dried out, so I'm going to try and replace these three colors. Hopefully they won't be dried out. Um, some, what I think is embossing powder, it wasn't labeled, so I'm guessing. But this one is Snowflake. This is holographic, and then 
Let's see, we have orange, mint, and pink. I figured neon is really hot right now, so that's why I picked those three up. Then, of course, the stickles. There is no short supply of stickles at a ranger sale, ever, at least in the three years that I've been going. So I got this Christmas pack. I got this pack of the big bottles. And um, I think there's three different colors in there, but I'm not sure. But it doesn't say what colors they are. And then um, uh, liquid pearls in white, stickles in black, let's see, and ice stickles, a pink, which is, doesn't say what color it is, and another pink. This is thistle. All those and a tiny bottle of crackle accents. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, this was one of my favorite finds of the day. I found collage glue sticks. Diane Reevely swears by these and I uh, hadn't been able to try them yet. They had boxes upon boxes of these so I got I think six of these for myself. I was shopping for one other person so um, my bucket was pretty full when I left. Then I got some of these little bead dazzles from Sue's Weinberg. These are all little teeny tiny micro beads with, I don't know, like tiny little sequins or something else floating around in there. Um, but I got Calypso, let's see, Cha Cha, this is Disco Ball and Macarena. Now, I've never tried those before. And, let's see, a set of perfect pens. This I was really happy to find. Melt Art Made Easy by Suze. I think it's like a 70 minute video. Um, and Suze is fantastic. I've taken a few classes with her in her New Jersey studio and she is a riot. And then this one, Clay Techniques to Die For, where you use um, Adirondack reinkers and to die for inks. These are the ones that go into um, the melting pot to color polymer clay. Not that I'll ever have time to do that. I don't have time to even make carts, it seems, these days. And last but not least, my favorite finds of the day were my brayers. I found a medium one and a really long one. That should fit the whole space of the um, those big rainbow pads that I bought. So I was really happy to get these. And this was the last one of these, and I snagged it. So that is it for the ranger sale. That's 50 bucks worth of stuff. Not too shabby. Um, and I met a lot of the YouTube gals down there. Uh, unfortunately, I missed having lunch with them because my mom and I got distracted in an AC more that we found <laughs> right after the sale. Um, but I caught up with them again at another scrapbook store. But um, Laurel, she ended up getting a whole bunch of distress stains, which I'm so jealous. But you know what? I didn't do too bad, so I can't complain. But these are the other things I got. Um, my mom and I went to, let's see, AC Moore, Joann's, and Marshall's. So at Joann's, I found these two drawing sets. I actually bought three. I gave one to my son because he's in an advanced art class right now. But two erasers, a regular, a kneading eraser, a chamois, and three blending stumps for 97 cents. Can't beat that. And then I got some of their... Stamps. I don't have a Joann's near me, so when I do find one, I usually buy their dollar stamps. This one is gorgeous. Halloween stamp. This looks just like a cat that I had, and he was so sweet, and he actually looked like this the first time he saw my parents' dog. This adorable little kitty cat. This one I really like. Another Halloween 
stamp and then the straight. So I didn't go too nuts in Joann's. Then an AC Moore. They had a whole room full of clearance. I mean, it looked like an extra store full of clearance, but you really had to dig. So I only found a few things in there. I got some of this Baker's Twine from Wilton for two bucks. And then these weren't on clearance, but these were just on sale this week. The embossing folders from Doris, the clouds, and this really pretty tree. And then these templates were half off, which I was shocked. So I got the swirly one, the numbers, which I have in 12 by 12, but I didn't have this one. Butterflies and the keys. And sorry, now my stomach's growling. Tell I didn't eat breakfast yet. And last but not least, I found the butterfly journal from Tim Holtz at Marshall's for $3.99. And I want to color the butterflies on this, like Christina Warner did in one of her videos, but she did it on the, um, the tote bag. Then we went to a local scrapbook store on the way home, and I bought this really pretty template, which I've been wanting for a while, and a roll of one-inch score tape. So, that is it. Uh, and on Friday... I went to um, a friend of mine's house. I just actually met her in, in June, and we've been emailing back and forth, and we did go to lunch once. But she's really, really into card making, like as much as me, and she doesn't live far, which it's the first person I've found who's really into crafts and is close by. And she has a ton of stuff, and she's been on design teams and gotten all kinds of free stuff from design teams. So anyway, she was selling some of her Tim Holtz cling sets, which she had a ton of, which, you know, she said she either didn't pay much for or got for free, which I was floored. Anyway, she, she sold me a bunch of them and I only paid $5 a piece. So I think I got seven sets of Tim Holtz stamps uh, and paid $35. Plus I bought a couple Tim Holtz dies um, and ended up spending, I think, $50 total between the stamps and the dies. So it's been a pretty good weekend between Friday and Saturday. So I am done shopping for a while. <laughs> so I don't think you're going to see a haul video anytime soon for me. So thanks for watching everyone. Uh, if you're ever in New Jersey in the fall, you know, hit the ranger sale. It's awesome. So I'll talk to you soon.